Hey everybody, Andrew here, and welcome to a video review of the DC Comics Multiverse Batman vs. Superman Armored Batman 6-inch action figure. As you can see, once again, the figure is prominently featured in the packaging, which I really like. On the back of the box, you see the pieces you need to assemble Batman's grapnel blaster, as well as all of the other figures available in this wave. And on the side of the box features a very nice picture of the armored Batman in the movie. So enough about the box, let's check out the figure itself. Overall, this is really not a bad figure. He's got a lot of nice sculpted detailing all over, right down to the scratches and scuffs here and there. He could use a little bit of a paint wash, as well as a little bit better paint apps on the figure, especially on the belt, where it seems like it's sort of barely applied on there. But other than that, he looks pretty good. They did a great job capturing the bulky, powerful presence that the armored Batman is supposed to portray. Now there is one major weakness on this figure, and unfortunately it sort of ruins everything about him. And that is, it is very difficult to get him to stand up properly. In fact, it's almost impossible for him to stand up straight at all. The only way that I've found to fix this is if you lean his body forward. That way, the center of gravity is a little bit better balanced. But unfortunately, if you look at him from the side, he's always leaning forward, and it looks terrible. Otherwise, if you try to stand him up straight, he's just going to keep falling backwards. And the cause of this is rather strange. His feet are not molded flat. They've got a bit of a curve to him. And because of that, there's not enough surface area for him to balance on, unless you lean him forward, because that cape is what is pulling him back. We don't have this problem on the regular Batman figures, so this is a big letdown for me after reviewing that one. So that to me is a huge drawback on this figure, and it really hurts to say that because I really like this design. Tony Stark is not going to be happy when he sees armored Batman running around Gotham City. It's not like Batman cares or anything. One thing I am surprised though is that we do not see a Bat logo anywhere on the suit. I'm not sure why this is the case, I have not seen the movie yet at the time of this recording, but at least they did include a Bat-like helmet on him that does make him look like Batman. So in that regard, it more than makes up for it. Batman does come with two accessories, one of them being a small piece for the Collect and Connect Grapnel Blaster. The other being a semi-automatic combination weapon where it looks like it can shoot both regular ammunition of some sort of caliber and a perhaps grenade launcher as well beneath it. I'm not quite sure. Again, haven't seen the movie yet at the time of this recording, but it's an interesting piece. I kind of like it and I'm glad they included it because he's going to need everything under the sun in order to basically stand a chance at defeating Superman in any way. I do wish that the regular Batman figure at least came with a small batarang or a grapnel blaster that he can hold or something, but I, again, I am glad that they included something for this armored Batman figure. And while I do like the way this weapon looks and I think it is sculpted very well, unfortunately getting him to hold it takes an act of, well, Superman to get it in his hand. doesn't matter whether it's the right or left fist. There's no way that you can have him hold it straight because of that buttstock and the angle of the handle makes it even worse. While he does have a pretty cool looking accessory, it is unfortunate that you are very limited in getting him to hold it where it looks halfway decent. Armored Batman's articulation is almost as good as the standard Batman figure in this line. His head can move left and right. These pieces prevent it from going any further than that. His arms can rotate all the way around at the shoulder, however the cape prevents that from happening. They move out about that far, again because of the cape. He has a swivel at the bicep, bends at the elbow about that far, almost 90 degrees. He can rotate at the wrist all the way around. He does have an ab crunch, however, it is somewhat limited based on the sculpt here. So he can move back about that far, but not a whole lot in the forward motion. Same thing with the head, it does not go forward, up or down, but it can wiggle a little bit. The legs can move out about that far. Again, he's got that really ugly looking T-crotch shape there, but it doesn't seem to look quite as bad with the armored look. 
he is able to move forward about that far, quite a bit further back than the regular Batman figure for whatever reason. He does have a rotation cut right here at the lower thigh. He can bend at the knee about that far, 90 degrees. And he does have ankle movement forward and back, but nothing in terms of a rocker, which is unfortunate for this figure. While the cape is soft and pliable, it's not quite as soft and pliable compared to the regular Batman figure. As far as comparisons go, here he is with the regular Batman figure in this DC Multiverse line, along with the Superman figure also available in the DC Multiverse line. And here he is compared to the Marvel's movie figures with the Avengers Iron Man and, of course, Captain America. And he seems to scale pretty well with them. For my final thoughts, as far as this figure goes, it's a bit of a letdown compared to the regular Batman figure that I reviewed. And it's a bit of a shame because this guy looks pretty darn cool, but that's as far as it really goes. Some nicer paint apps would have really gone a long way for this figure, but otherwise, as he is, he looks pretty neat. Despite having pretty good articulation, there's really not much you can do with it because he can't even stand up on his own without having to lean him forward. And again, the problem lies with his feet not being molded flat like they should be. And that, to me, is a real shame. However, you can use the cape to support the figure and get him into some pretty decent poses. But otherwise, it's going to be a real challenge. Thank you for watching this review. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys next time. Oh look, yet another superhero wearing an advanced suit of armor. No imagination. You, sir, make me sick. What? Swear to me! Oh, shut up.